Hey guys, Brooke Whipple here. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to ask you an important question. Is second best good enough? Stay tuned, we're going to talk about that in a minute. I was thinking about this just now. I'm out here working on my chicken coop, getting some things done. And I've always wanted to be a falconer. And you're probably wondering, what in the heck does that have to do with my chickens and being in the chicken coop? <laughs> I got a few new chickens recently, and they were just babies. And one of them has the most interesting personality. I've been raising chickens for over 10 years now. And this particular chicken is just so endearing to me. She's just like captured my heart. And I know, I know it's a chicken, it's ridiculous, but she's kind of taking the place of me wanting to be a falconer, right? Stick with me, stick with me. I want to introduce you to this very special chicken and talk about is it okay to settle for something that's maybe not your dream, but maybe something a little less than your dream. All right, I'm gonna go get her. Here she is. This is my sweetheart. She is an Americana. The only other Americana I've ever had. It's been like my wildest chicken. Like crazy wild. Uh, can't catch her, can't do anything with her. And this girl not only is she super calm and cuddly like she just loves to be cuddled she sort of looks she sort of looks hawkish don't you think she likes to cuddle am I worried about her pooping on me no not really I wonder if she'll just sit right there anyway she's adorable she's my favorite chicken by far where are you going there you go she brings me so much joy that I wonder, is it okay to have a chicken on my arm instead of a hawk? I don't know what she's doing now. problem with um, ever pursuing, at least at this point in my life, to be a falconer is, you know, I travel too much. But I just love chickens. I mean, I love chickens. She's just so sweet and cuddly and like has this personality. Like, I think she could be a therapy chicken. Gosh, how cool would that be? I could take her into a nursing home and, and uh, you know, put a little chicken diaper on her or something. I don't know. I'd have an animal that brought me a lot of joy, but I don't need to have a special permit. I don't need to have a special enclosure. You no, know, there's definitely some advantages to owning a chicken over a falcon. So what's the takeaway, guys? The takeaway is to find joy where you are right now. Even though you might not be where you wanna be, you might not have the things you wanna have. You might be in a situation that you're, you're moving forward, you're changing, or maybe you just can't change your situation. Maybe what you need to remember is to find joy today. Find joy where you are right now. And it's okay to settle for second best. Sometimes it'll open your eyes to what's been in front of you the whole time and bring you a new perspective. Like my chicken. Would I still love to be a falconer? Yes. Would I still love to hold a hawk on my hand? Yes. Would I love to hunt with a hawk? Yeah. But right now, all I got is a chicken. <laughs> and I don't see that changing anytime soon. So I'm going to enjoy what I have right now. I'm going to keep dreaming, and I hope you keep dreaming too. And find joy where you are right now. Don't forget the little things. Okay guys, but I need your help. I don't have a name for her. I have not come up with a name for her yet. So I want you to help me name my, my favorite chicken. She's still really young. She's only like probably going on three months old. So that's why she's still kind of peeping like a chick because she's not full grown yet. Leave your suggestions in the comments below. And if I find a name that I just love and it came from one of you guys, I'll send you my book. So leave your comments below. 
Tell me what you think about this idea too. Like, what's something in your life you've kind of had to settle for right now, but you have found out that it's okay. You know, it's worked out. You ready to go to bed? I bet you can't hug a falcon. Hey guys, this is Girl in the Woods. Thanks for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments below, including a name suggestion for this cutie. And if I like your name enough and I pick it, I'll send you a book. And if this is your first time to my channel, don't forget to hit that button. Whoa. Well, I think she's ready to head into the coop. Good night, guys. And don't forget to get outside and get happy. good to find joy in just small things, the everyday things that sometimes you just overlook.